Hi besties, welcome back to a new video. Oh, I forgot to preheat the oven. Today is a new episode of Cooking with Ash. Honestly, I say episode like it's a series. I haven't done it in like a year, which is crazy because I cook every single freaking day. And I cook good shit every day, but I just get lazy to like make videos. So here I am. Today we're making, I guess you could say like Jamaican fish. I don't really know, to be honest. I went to my sister's boyfriend's house because they were hosting a dinner and he made it and it was delicious. So they gave me the recipe. Very easy to make, so I wanted to share it with you guys because I'm eating it tonight. So I'm just like, I may as well put this on the tube. So today we are using these beautiful gasa filets. Ooh, delicious. Some yellow and red peppers. Some seasonings, including all purpose, salt, pepper, olive oil, butter, chili flakes, and jerk seasoning as well as some white wine that has been sitting on the counter unopened for two weeks mm, yummy fish with a little splash of mold okay so i will list the recipe down below if you guys care for it first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take the fish out of the plastic and then i'm going to start chopping so while we chop we talk okay okay so the way that i like to do this is I first drizzle olive oil in the pan. It needs quite a bit of oil because that's what holds the flavor and creates like a gravy. After I oil the pan, dish, whatever, the Pyrex, I then add the fish and season it. And then I'm gonna add the veggies and season it. So today I'm cooking for Brenda and I. We have two large basso fillets. So I think I'm gonna cut them in half just cause why not, you know? And add those to the pan. So how's everybody doing? Is everybody good? I know I am. I think I'm good anyways, I don't know. Sometimes it's up and down and it's a little confusing, but I just like to go with it because that's life. Um, I now have a part-time job. I don't know if I talked about that yet, but I work part-time and I actually like my job, <laughs> which is weird. If you know me, you know that I am notorious uh, for getting jobs and quitting but that's because I've never really had a job that I took any particular interest in because I would be working at like for example when I was depressed I worked at Booster Juice what the fuck was that about no shade to anybody that works at Booster Juice but it was very random of me I worked there for like a month a couple weeks and every time I told someone they'd be like what the fuck are you doing there and I'd be like I need a distraction she messaged me on LinkedIn I took the job it was random but it happened and nobody really knows why. I don't really know why, but yeah, so I actually kind of like my job, which is like crazy. Um, I guess, I don't know, it's like chill. It's chill when I, when it's like super dead and I have nothing to do, I read on my phone. I just read eBooks and it's great. Oh my God. Oh, okay. So that's another thing that I've been into lately. I don't know. I guess I'm just talking while I cook. Cause like, why not? Um, fucking reading. Oh my God. Let me show you an update. So this is what's happening so far. We got the fish in the pan. Now we're gonna season it, flip it, and add the veggies, okay? Cutting up peppers now. And I'm gonna show you the size you should cut them. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. By the way, this is all, you're just eyeballing all of this. You're eyeballing all of it because it's really all to taste. It's not a recipe recipe. So you're gonna wanna cut them like this size, okay? Anyways, um, long story short, I got back into reading because I decided that reading at work was a way to pass the time. So then I started um, buying books and illegally downloading. Shh books that I uh, have been hearing about. So I started with It Ends With Us by Caroline Hoover. Bitch, that book is so good. Oh my God. If anybody wants me to do book reviews on my channel, let me know, I'm not joking. Um, that book is good, bro. It was unexpected. Honestly, I suggest reading the book without figuring out what it's about. Just know that it's a romance book and it's darker than you think it would be. It's it's really fucking good guys like when i tell you it's good i mean you guys should read it sometimes it's a little cheesy i won't lie but it was fun then i read verity by caroline hoover that one's good too right now i'm reading people we meet on vacation i read really fast i finish books usually within like a day or two depending because i go home and i read it but anyways yeah so reading has been like so fun for me again like i feel like it's like activating my inner child because as a kid i was such a bookworm my parents like were constantly bringing us to Indigo and just buying us books and they just loved to see us read. I remember like 
My mom always told me how happy she would be to see me read and like giggle at my books. It would bring her so much joy. She would just keep buying me books. And I found that really cute. That's what I've been up to. Toronto is opening back up and my birthday is coming up. My birthday's coming up. I'm pretty excited, to be honest. Last year, everything was closed for my birthday, so I spent it indoors. Um, and honestly, I don't think I did much. No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, right. Um, so this year, I have a bougie little dinner booked at a restaurant downtown, and I have eight friends coming. Yes, I have eight friends. Bitch, I have so many friends now. Oh my god. I said at the beginning of 2021, I'm heartbroken. I need more friends. And I was on a mission. I told myself, if I want to make friends, I can. And I made friends in a pandemic, and I didn't go to school, and I didn't have a job. So, yeah. Just know that if you want to make friends in your 20s, it's very possible. And if you want me to do a video on it, let me know, and I can do a video on it. Anyways, so, uh, yeah. So, I have eight friends coming. <laughs> And it's just funny because I'm so, I used to be so antisocial that that would be a nightmare to me. Um, I would have a couple of my friends come to their parties, don't get me wrong, like I, I'm not someone that's friendless, but these are all people that are like actually my friends. And I don't know, it's just like, I'm excited to have like a good vibe, new energy around me. I don't know, I just think it'll be fun. And I'm very excited for my friends to mingle with each other. So far for February, I have plans on Valentine's Day. Yeah, you heard me. You wanna know with who? Myself, how? Huh? Myself. I have plans with myself on Valentine's Day, which is lovely and I'm very excited. Um, because, I mean, I told my friends, listen, if your Valentine's Day plans flop or whatever, like feel free to hit me up and we can see each other and you can come meet me. Cause I have a reservation already. So I'm like, if you wanna join me, join me if you don't. I'll be there regardless. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that as well as get some drinks. Honestly, I think everybody should train themselves to be comfortable eating alone because it's so lovely. I love eating alone. Okay, so right now I added all the veggies. That includes thyme, yellow pepper, red pepper, as well as all the seasonings. To the Pyrex with the fish, and I have cuts on my fingers right now. Um, I won't lie to you, they are due to my anxiety. I have been picking my skin, which I do when I'm anxious. Um, so I'm putting gloves on to do it so that I don't burn my cuts. Um, before I do that though, I'm gonna make some rice. So we're gonna do one cup of rice, two cups of water. Okay guys, I have a secret to tell you. And I'm gonna get a lot, a lot of judgment. I can already feel the judgment. Whether you comment it or not, I can feel it. I know what you're thinking. Well, not yet, but I will. Oh my God, this is so heavy, guys. You see me struggling. That was intense. So my big secret is, Yeah, man, you heard me. I don't wash my rice. Do you wanna know why? Nothing I say to the people who grew up washing their rice will be an excuse, and I understand that. I understand it's disgusting to you, to many, to most. However, I don't give a fuck, okay? I'm lazy. Do you know how much I do in the kitchen? I do a lot in the kitchen, so I just feel like I deserve to get a break somewhere and I'm gonna take that break when it comes to washing my rice. You know why? Because the temperature that the rice is cooked at kills the bacteria. So like, why do we need to wash it? Give this video a like if you don't wash your rice. I wanna show you guys up close what's happening before I mix, mix, mix. So let's do that. So I understand a lot of people don't agree with my way of life and the way that I choose to do things. By the way, I'm right here. I'm just cutting some butter because I like to add a little bit of butter. Not necessary at all. I just love the taste of butter and apparently I like to, um, I don't know, indulge more than I should. Anyways, so I'm going to mix this up and then I'm going to add some wine. Yeah, honestly, I know that I should wash my rice, but like it's... 
if I were to say that I'm gonna start now, I would be fucking lying. So if you guys know the dangers of not washing rice and you wanna share those, feel free to do that. I don't know if I'll change my lifestyle, but I will listen, I will read. Anyways, so what else is new, my friends? What else is new? Oh, I'm on Bumble. I've never been on a date online. Okay, no, 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 sorry. I always say that I've never been on an online date, but I always forget that I have because I went on one in New York. And I always forget, I don't count them because they weren't people from my city. So to me, it was just like meeting a stranger in a new country, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't know. It To me, I didn't really take it in as a date. So I'm on Hinge now and um, Bumble as well. I've never gone on a date in Toronto um, with someone I met online ever. So I am nervous, excited, delighted. Um, <laughs> wait a minute, sorry. I'm talking like somebody asked me out. Nobody asked me out. This is the wine, by the way. Nobody asked me out, guys. I'm just, <laughs> I just assume that someone will, but honestly, I've been on Hinge for a minute and not one person has asked me out before. And I, I, I don't know, is that normal? Like, is that something that happens often? I don't really know. This is absolutely beautiful. It looks absolutely delicious. Okay, we're gonna pop this guy in the oven, huh? So 3.50, 30 minutes, okay? I don't know why I just blew a kiss. Oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, now that I smell wine, I feel like it's only right that I have a glass. I don't think I will be having that one because that shit is old as hell. Um, I feel so classy eating nuts and wine. So, yeah, I'm on Hinge and Bumble. And let's see, I'm having some good conversations, which is very surprising. I think, here's the thing. The reason why I've never gone on a date with a dating app is not because nobody asked me out. They do. A, I'm picky. I'm so embarrassingly picky, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, it does. I'm a cash but it doesn't make sense because what I'm looking for is not realistic or non-existent because I don't, I, I'm not looking. So I always come up with a reason like, ugh, he has an Android. I can't talk to him. I can't talk to him. Mm, he doesn't have a car. I live downtown. It doesn't matter. Mm, no, it matters, it matters. I've been closed off. I'm not open to conversation. I decided to get on Bumble for the first time because, I mean, other than being on road, because I am forced to start the conversation, which means I don't know what it means, but it just means that I kind of have to put myself out there. And once that energy is already put out there, I feel more open in the conversation. You know what I mean? So I'm having good conversations with like some cute guys that I wish I could show you. Oh, sorry. Cheers. Oh my God, that was so rude of me. What are we cheersing to? Cheers to Aquarius season. And the fact that I'm turning 27 and two weeks. So anyways, I'm gonna go through my hinge and bumble conversations on the couch with my wine. Hey Google, set an alarm in 28 minutes. You got it, your alarm set for 8.03 p.m. Yeah, so I am going to come back in 28 minutes, show you the final result, some taste test of my own. I did not turn the rice cooker on. And yeah. I heard my timer go off. Took it out the oven. I set it to broil. It's been broiling for about four minutes just to get like a crispier top. Not crispy, but just like a little more seared, you know? Now it's time to pop it out the oven. Don't mind my dirty oven. Ooh, wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I am gonna get myself a plate and take a first bite for you. Okay, I feel like doing the most with the presentation, so that is exactly what I will be doing. Ooh, okay, I thought I would fuck that up, but I didn't. Let's plate that. Okay, this is the final dish. Not too much. 
All right, it's time for a taste test. I mean, I've made this many times before, but today I put more wine than usual and I added a little less of the seasoning salt. Okay, let's try it. I hope it's good because today Brenda's eating it and usually I eat it when I'm alone. So I don't know if she's gonna like it, we'll see. Oh yeah, that's good. The fish is really soft. Mmm. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. Oh my goodness. Ooh, the fish is like a good soft. It's like buttery. Mmm. Wow. I need some veggies. Mmm. The way the veggies hold in the seasoning. Guys, I don't know if you're like paying attention, but this recipe is really easy. Honestly, if you have never cooked a dish in your life, you don't know where to start, start here. I'm telling you, start here. You can't fuck it up. You literally cannot fuck it up. Guys, that is fucking good. <laughs> All right, thanks for tuning in with another Cooking with Ashley. I will be back with the series. Um, tell me what I should cook next. I don't know. What should I make? I've made tacos on my channel. I've made, I don't know. I've made like a bunch of shit between the two channels that I have. Tell me what I should make next. Not spaghetti bolognese because I've already done that twice. All right, guys. I'm going to go enjoy this fish with a good show. If you have any show recommendations, let me know. And if you have any meal recommendations that you want to see me cook, let me know. But with that being said, thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time.